Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shio Akishan. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Glory, 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 glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His marvelous, for His masses and it forever. Hello everyone, welcome to Moment with Shion and also Wale Lyrics on the platform tag, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. Yes, A Seed in Me. There is something unique in you, there is something special about you, there is something God has deposited in you that He wants you to use. To be, um, to in order to make people happy, in order to impact this world, in order to increase the kingdom of God before you depart. Are you here to discover your gift? Are you yet to discover your talent, or you are already working on your gift? How are you nurturing your gift? How do you water your gift? How does your gift germinate? In? How are you using it? This is a platform where we want to encourage you to nurture and grow your seed and also to put light in the darkness of other people's life. Today, I have my wonderful brother on platform with me, Wale Lyrics. is also known as Wale Fuwe. He's here to share his experience. It's not his first time on this platform because he has been here before and we are really blessed when he came last time. And people ask for him to come back because they love to listen to his testimony. And that is the reason why he's here today to share his experience. Probably you are just joining us or you are about to um, meet my wonderful brother evangelist Wale Lyrics is here to share his experience, his challenges on how he was able to discover or identify his great sin which is his talent. Trust me this young man sitting beside me is a multi-talented man. Honestly he was so blessed. I don't want to mention all those gifts in him you will you just continue to, to, to enjoy the grace of God with us because it's going to be awesome. He's going to sing for us tonight. He's going to bless God with his voice, his unique voice. <laughs> wow, we have loads of things in, in stock for you tonight. And also, let me just end you with this little secret. He's just launched his new album titled Mojubare. You don't want to listen to this. Trust me, you will be blessed bountifully. Please Continue to share, call friends and family to tune in and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are willing to appreciate him or to contribute to tonight's show, just call in into the studio number which is 0203-774-7220 or 079-4278530 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Just call in to appreciate him, you know. It's good to appreciate one another and it shall be well with you. If you are um, having any ceremony as well, if you have any event that you are willing um, for him to come and play as a live band man, trust me, you will never regret it. It's so awesome and it shall be well with you. As we are moving forward, let me speak to him to introduce himself. We are welcome once again. 
Thank you very much. Kindly introduce yourself fully to our viewers. My name is Mr. Adewale Michael Fowe, also known as Wale Lyrics. Wale Lyrics, wow. What, what uh, brought this name Wale Lyrics, especially the lyrics? How come that was stuck to your name? Is it your stage name? Can you share with our viewers? Yeah, because um, I, I thought about when I wanted to go into, apart from singing the singing in church and I want to be identified when I go out there to um, to be tagged by name and I just happen to love the word lyrics because I I have my way around lyrics because I have my way of around words I have my way around rhymes and reading so lyrics is just the best way to describe me because your name whatever name you give yourself is from the name you should it should be identified so even without me saying anything so if i say lyrics when it comes to word when it comes to rhymes and readings and poetry so that is me so it, it happens to be me i'm lyrics i'm mr oh, wow. lyrics oh wow because i can i'm loving that <laughs> <laughs> ah, wonderful so um your your stage name is um lyrics and that lyrics. that is because it's what you love to listen to when you are in your music area, is that what it means? Yeah, it, it, because it, I really want to uh, have that, uh, an understanding about the that word lyrics talk to you. Okay, um, <laughs> lyrics is oral. Lyrics is the uh, the the words the like say we say <laughs> lyrics of the songs. Okay, lyrics so is is the words. And when you look at the way when I talk, because I have the words like, and when I want to sing. So, and I don't want to, the, the people give themselves names like, uh, I don't want to mention any name, but I just want to say name that can be, once you hear it, like you know, something glorious, something Ara, ble something blessing, yeah, something yeah, glory. So, uh, glory, something yeah. different names people tend to say. So, so when, the moment you say that name, it's already tied to like Christianity, it's already tied to a church is already back to um Alashe, um, Loko, um, Ni, you know like so it's already tax but but when I say lyrics lyrics can be because I also play at social gardens. Okay. So I don't I don't want you to have an impression of me without saying me. So is because I like I said when it comes to lyrics if you even when we get to the song now, when the song I just released, which is Majibai Wuchukami, when you hear it, the the it word works. the word means a lot because for me lyrics goes a long way for me. So I I, I hold strongly the passion for lyrics. So that's why I just I I just said lyrics is the best way I can describe myself. Oh, wow. So if I go to a church, I can play as well as lyrics. If I go to a party, I can play as Wally Lyrics. So Wally Lyrics is totalitarian of, of just me. Oh, that's, wow. That's okay. Um, okay, moving forward. Let me ask this question. So when you say the word lyrics, it means that when people are listening to your song, it means that the word in the song needs to meet with them. Yes. It has to have a um, meaning. Yes. Is that what you mean? Because I, I know that sometimes when we are listening to music we tend to listen to drums and the instruments more than the words coming out from this the main songs that we are listening to so are you not saying that okay the lyrics which is the word of the songs people need to listen to it and understand it digest it that it will meet their their soul rather than the instruments drums and all that is that yeah, yes you're right when okay. it is it has to do with both the the lyrics and if if you have good lyrics yeah. and you don't have good backing of a good alujo so people may not feel complex. it if you have just alujo you don't have the lyrics. lyrics so a lot of people do it like you said yeah. i don't know how they're doing it but for me lyrics of a song really goes a long, a long way, way for me hallelujah okay. hallelujah thank you so much for sharing that it shall be well with you in jesus and now as we're moving forward how are you able to identify your your gift which is your seed i understand that you're a drummer you're a trumpeter you are a keyboardist you are a singer in fact i'm blessed to have you here please share mm -hmm. with us how are you able to identify those gifts one by one and you are functioning in all aspects of uh, music? Can you please share with our viewers? Um, all glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, 
God, all this talent you mentioned is, is being given to me by God. Mm -hmm. I just, I, even if you ask my, I don't even know how I started. I can tell you I started playing piano, but something in me, the seed in me was just growing and I realized, oh, I could actually do this. Do this. Oh, I could actually, when I have an interest or something, I just learn it. And in the process of learning, I'm just Developing. I'm improving at it. Okay. So, but all this talent, like I said, all this seed, oh. it just, it grew. I, I was growing up with a lot of music, oh. getting to learn it, and it was just coming. It wasn't difficult because if it's not a seed, you will find it hard to germinate. You would put water on it and water and now keep doing and you wouldn't see it. But if it's a seed that God has planted, even the the slightest water you put, the the little effort you put, it blows up, it comes out. So that is what I can just say. So because the seed has already been in me that God has put there. So little thing that I started doing, little practice, little playing and the seed started growing. So I started from piano then after playing the piano, I loved the drums. I started playing the drums. Then I loved the trumpet. Then I went to the trumpet. <laughs> then I saw the people are playing talking drum. Then I went there and came to London. I went there. And, and you are and doing just, it perfectly. I just says, we're all glory to God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All oh, wow. glory to God. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. what instrument are you intend to play for us tonight? I'll play the piano tonight. The piano. Okay, the now piano. please watch out. He's going to play piano for us live and direct on tonight's show. Please stay tuned. Also, invite your friends and family. Let us all enjoy the presence of God. You know why? It is important to enjoy the moment while we're on heart because a lot is going on around us. We know what is going. We know what is happening. Many are dying. Many are suffering. But if you have that grace to be alive, even if you don't have everything that you want, if you don't have all you are requesting for, it does not matter. We still need to give God the glory and be happy at all times. No matter what, no matter how the challenge, we still need to be happy. We need to make ourselves happy according to the Bible that says we should be happy at all times because in the presence of God, there is always a fullness of joy. Please stay tuned and if you are willing to call in to the studio number, just dial into 0203. 0203774720 or 0794278530. God bless you as you stay tuned. Moving back to you, sir. Now that uh, you told us on how you are able to be a multi talented singer, you know, you are so blessed and I'm, I bless God for your life. How are you able to cope with your career, your nature, your normal career? with the music career and also with family being a, 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 a husband, being the father in the house, how are you able to manage everything? Uh, um, managing everything in, in London is kind of different from if we were to be in Nigeria. Okay. In Nigeria, we have the time, we have the, we have the hands. Resources. You have the resources <laughs> if you if you that seed in you when you have an idea you can just call guys let's meet up in my other jam and and it's going and when you finish there you can spend the whole day there yeah. then you can go home there's still food for you you can eat you can go back the next day so to to use your to it's use your fun. seed is more fun and the resources are there yeah. but here in london if you want to think of calling the guy, when you think about the the resources going to take you to even get three, let alone five or a group, you have to think that twice. So even if you have that seed, you you hold on to the seed and look at the feasibility study. It's not like you, you can just do some calculations and do some calculation mm -hmm. and and when you also think of you have a family to feed, you have um, a job to meet. You have bills to pay, and so it, there's a lot that you need to put into consideration in order to help your seed, in order to keep bringing your seed out. So, well, with the grace of God, I'm able to put all this together and be your bachelor's or take on back Lara. But it's not by my doing, it's by the grace of God that I've been able to meet up with all this. But I can tell you, it's just by the grace of God, nothing else can be added to that. Thank you for that. Please, can you share with your viewers what is your educational background? Okay. Um, well, I 
I started my schooling in Nigeria, 7th Avenue Primary School, then went on to secondary school, went to first grammar school, then went to Unilag where I did theater art, creative arts and theater art, um, finished in Unilag, then came to London yeah. and I've just enrolled in uh, doing another degree, second degree here wow. in, in University of um, East London currently. Okay. So I can say, so that's my educational. Hallelujah. Um, More grace yeah. to you in Jesus' name. Okay, yeah. now we're going to talk about your music career. I understand that you started from church. You are able to jump onto the drum and then from one to another, then you are so good on what you're doing. How are you able to identify yourself as a singer? Because I know not many people have that boldness to lead song or to be a lead singer or to even face the crowd to hold the mic and sing. Ah, <clears throat> not many can do that. But well, you are one of the chosen one that is doing this and you are really doing it perfectly. I want you to share with our viewers, how do you have that um, um, grace to identify that, okay, yes, you have that voice and people can listen to your voice. Can you share this? Yeah, for, for me personally, I've been, I've been, so as I've been pushed to doing some of these things because I'm, I'm, it can sound strange, but sometimes I can be shy. I know. And <laughs> so, so I wouldn't, I'm not kind of person, if I go to an harvest, for example, they invite my, myself or church, to an harvest, I wouldn't be that guy that would just go there and start looking for the lead mic to to, to want to sing. I'll be the one just at the back. Is that I play my trumpet at the back? If there's keyboard to play or not, just or just stay at the back, just Relax. just chill, just to think and think. Just watch. until someone say, no, 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 you must come and sit and sing, and they drag me. And so I'm that kind of person. So, but when they put me there, God takes glory. Hmm. But I wouldn't. Put myself out there in front, the front. Yeah, mm. but but because, uh, like I said, because of my nature, like I'm um, a little bit shy. But when it gets to being doing the actual performance, mm -hmm. the shyness goes away all of a sudden. Then I deliver. I because the spirit of David descended, didn't it? Amen. Which I believe. <laughs> but so that's that's just it. So in terms of singing, yes, we I can sing. I've sang in my church. I sang in different churches. Uh, but God is just taking all the glory. Hallelujah. So you've not answered my question. And I can see people even testifying to the glory of God already on platform. I'm going to read those comments. I'm coming. <laughs> just stay tuned, please. Continue to share. Because I can see some, some people already said, yes, that's my CM. So for you to be a choir master in the church, it means that uh -uh, that boldness is there, the confidence, and to manage people. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. To gather one, two, three people, especially we ladies. I know how it is. You understand, it, it must be the grace of God, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding for you to be able to, to coordinate a choir. It is by the grace. But how did you identify that? Yes, okay, even if you are not putting yourself at the front, but they notice, somebody must have noticed something in you that, okay, you can lead these people. Why can't you please step in into this show and lead this choir for us? How are you able to identify that? Yes, you can do it and you are doing it. Well, I've been, I've, I've been able to identify by just the, the Spirit of God just um, laying in my heart and the Spirit of God just leading me on. Yeah. Because um, if I look at myself, carnally is not something I, I see do. myself doing or something. Yeah. But God has just, has just been the supporter. And I, it all started when... I'm playing the keyboard. I compose a song because I'm a songwriter as well. I'm a composer. And when you compose a song, you need to sing the song. Mm -hmm. So in the process of singing, they say, okay, you know what, you lead the song. Okay. So in the process of leading the song, they've identified me to say, okay. he can mm -hmm. actually do it. Mm -hmm. And when you're singing, you're not going off beat. Mm -hmm. You're singing, you're singing in line with what the, and you can, and you can, you can, you can have the, you can exhibit the confidence as a lead vocalist so that's already you've proven yourself okay. so when next when they call upon you you cannot shy away from it 
and that is something that you cannot hide. So even when I was doing that, not too much in Nigeria, like I said, because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of instrumentalists. So if I'm the one playing the keyboard and there are people that don't play the keyboard that can sing, so it will be difficult for you to want to leave the keyboard and be dragging mic with those not That's singing. Right. So you just stay, stay where that. you are. But coming to UK where there's no much hands, mm. you that's where you, you need to use your mic and, and play, play the keyboard, keyboard at the same time. So in process of doing that, you the confidence has to come because if they don't want to do it, mm -hmm. you, have to you do just it. have to do it. And if you, if you couldn't do it, fair enough. But if you can do it, mm -hmm. then you do it. And for me, it shall do what needs to go on. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to doing the work of God, the confidence needs to come when there are no one doing it. If there are people doing there, mm -hmm. I can just sit back and say, let it go. But if there are no one doing it, then I will step in. No matter the congregation, no matter the amount of people there, if things are not going well, I step in where it's needed. Okay. But if there are people there, I can relax. So the confidence would automatically set in because it is the work of God. That means and the done. seed is in you. And the seed is in so you. So it will naturally come out. out. Okay. Yeah. You, even you won't be raised. Yes. You understand? The spirit yes. in you will not allow allow you to rest. You yes. just want to do it because you can say that uh, maybe the service is dragging or people are struggling to do it. You just need to step in to do it. Thank yes. you. Well done for that. More blessing, more grace to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank if you. you are willing to appreciate him, you can as well type your question or if you want to ask a question, type it on the page and we'll read it out for him. He will answer you. We're still, we're still going to listen to his song and we are still going to go into the um, segment of the Bible interaction. Please, interaction section, please stay tuned. I know that he's a pastor, he's a prophet, he's a CM, he, uh, uh, he's full, he's loaded with the word. So I want to gain from him. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I want to gain from him. I want to learn from him. Likewise, you too, I believe you want to learn from him because nobody knows it all. We are all um, learning because uh, the, the Bible segment section, is we just keep it in just to encourage one another on how we can always return back to our Bible, especially with what is going on around us. It's the only word that can encourage us to continue in the journey of life. That's why we ship this in. So please stay tuned. Don't go because I want to, I want to, I really want to give it to him. I want to test his knowledge of Bible tonight. Aha, mm -hmm. as we are moving forward, sir. Now I want you to please share with our viewers what is your greatest challenge in this journey? Well, the greatest challenge in this journey is it's been all challenges. <laughs> every every time that I come across. So I can't say the greatest. The greatest is just being when you need to cross a particular order. Okay. So as been a challenge. <clears throat> I, I wanted to release a song <clears throat> at a point in time and there were no ends to get it done. Okay. Getting to Nigeria, I did a song. I had the time to do it, but based on the time, my based on the stress I went through in Nigeria, everything my voice went. Okay. So and I had limited time to come back to London, and it was just like two days or, and it, the, the time it was, frame was short time, time, and the voice wasn't there. So I was asking, I came here because I needed to do this, and what's gonna happen? But with the prayer and the usage of hot water time. Do, 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 do. Lime so, and lemon. Lime and lemon. It came back to life. I was able to do it. Wow. There are times that you want to do. So I wouldn't say greatest challenge because there's nothing. I can't think of anything that I wanted to do that seems so difficult because God is always making the way. So it, it might seem that He wants to shut, but He's always making the way. So at every point in time, if I'm going to achieve something, even this Mojibare that I did, there was a challenge at some point. But there was a way eventually. So because the way happened, it's just like a woman that wants to give birth. She wouldn't call the process as challenge because mm -hmm. it could be tough at some point, but when the baby came, she forgot About every baby. every pain. That's right. So if you ask her, she wouldn't call it a challenge. We just say, Well, it's a yeah, process. It, was a, it was a process. Mm -hmm. So exactly. So there was no challenge per se. 
there were processes that I went through in this journey. Is it when I wanted to start playing piano that I didn't have a piano, that I would have to give a child that has piano, I will give her what my mom was selling, and I take the collect piano and they play, and when they exhaust the whatever I've given them, which is ice cream actually, <laughs> and when they exhaust the ice cream and they come back to want to get the piano, then I give them another ice cream. So just to keep the piano, to, keep the piano to myself mm. to learn because I didn't have oh, the opportunity. Wow. Not like now that every home has a piano. At the time, you only find piano in one in hundred homes, mm -hmm. and the seed was in me. It needed to come out, but. I didn't have the resources. I didn't have what it took, but I was able to overcome that process. And when I got to church, I started playing. As an instrumentalist, you sometimes look like a footballer. You need time to rehearse. That's right. You don't have time to prepare because you don't have a piano in the house. It's only when you get to church on Sunday or something you play. So at the time you're waiting, is an obstacle. Is is a challenge, but you just have to overcome the process until you are confident enough that even if you don't play during the week when to you're fine, you're fine. Mm. so it's all processes all challenges there are times that i'll have a song that will come i'll just get the chorus the no late. The, the the solos wouldn't be there okay and you're gonna you pray you sing you sleep you wake up you did because most of my songs come when i sleep yeah. i sleep or wake up sleep wake up it's not coming i wouldn't call it a challenge yet and it, it needed to complete, mm. but it was a process that eventually everything came in for them and the process was completed. Mm. So that's the best way I can answer that question. Hallelujah. Thank you so much Thank because you. I want to encourage people watching us out, no matter what they are going through during their um, processing or why are going to find their sin, they still need to push forward. Yes. And that is the reason why I had that question. Now, can you tell me how many singles or full album Wale Lyrics has produced? Um, I did my first ever um, music out there was an album because I have so many songs and I don't, I don't want to be doing singles and singles. So I just went out there so the full album Yana Lorore. Okay. So I did that and um, to God be the glory. But this one that I released now wasn't an album. I just said there's no point in waiting to do a full album. Full album. I just did the single. Okay. So I did the Yana Lorore, which is the um, album I've had, and this one is the single I just did. To God be the glory, there are tracks to complete the single. Okay. But they are not they are not yet yeah, to album. make it full album. Okay. But for now, the only one out is just a single. Mm. In in no time, in very short time to God, the full album will be completed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to quickly acknowledge those who are watching us on platform. So I wouldn't like to take you guys for granted. No, I wouldn't do that. Now I have my beautiful sister. In fact, mm -mm, the way she was bombarding me with messages, mm -mm, I'm enjoying that. Sister Julie Sonye, she said, um, oh yes, that's my CM. And then my beautiful sister, Diola Fuwe said, we love you. Thank you, Ma. Um, Julie Sonye said, uh, my one and only CM, God bless you. That is right. Hallelujah. We love you. When he's singing, heaven moves. Hallelujah. That is a great testimony because there is no point you are singing and nothing is changing. We need to sing to change soul. We need to sing to increase the kingdom. We need to sing to transform life. I love that testimony. Thank you for sharing that. And then my beautiful sister, uh, Adele Olafowe, is a great preacher. So you are hiding that for me. Oh dear. Thank you for another for sharing another seed in him with us. Thank you, Mar. God bless you. He's a great preacher. Okay, I will bring you here to preach, to teach people about the world. I can say that you cannot fall in my hand when we get to that segment. Thank you for sharing with my sister. And I can see my beautiful sister here today. I both said day and I feel Lua. She said hello, sis. Good evening, Uncle Wale. Hello, Ma. Good evening, Ma. God bless you. And my beautiful sister Julie said, um, my MC, I will not exchange you for another. You are the best. May God continue to increase and empower you in Jesus' name. Love you. Thank you, my God bless you. And my beautiful sister, Sarah Full Voice. That's my wonderful sister. She said, more anointing daddy, we love him always. A very good uh, role model. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. 
Well done. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please share to bless other people? Many might not be on here as we are having this on. Please share on your platform to bless so and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. If you have any question for him, type it in or you call to the studio number 0203-774-7220 or 079-4427-8530 or you type it in and we read it out for him to answer. As we are moving forward, sir, I want you to now share with our viewers. You told me earlier on that you receive your song when you are sleeping. <laughs> you sleep, you wake it. <laughs> no song is coming, but it will eventually come because that is the process. Okay, now can you share with our viewers what causes you to do the first album, which is the Yano Lorore? Because some people will tell me the situation around them was tough, was this, was that, and eventually, for that reason, God just put something in their mind to deliver. So can you share with our viewers, um, Mujubare and Yano Lorore, what really causes, what, what eventually happened that make you to produce those songs? Thank you very much, man. Um, like I said, uh, most of my song comes when I'm sleeping. Some, not all. Some I can just I can just be talking. Or I can be driving. It depends. It can come. Okay. So um, so sometimes because when it comes when I'm sleeping, is there's no motivation behind it. This is just what was laid to my heart at that time. That is what I sing. Yeah. But for Yano Lorore, uh, I. I can't really say that um, this is well. I think it was one of the songs I received whilst I was sleeping. Okay. So because the, the lyrics of the song, um, it says "Kiki daro kon to soro ashe si aye mi kiki daro kon to ndi aye ne pada." So that was the word that came. So I, it was it came to me whilst I was asleep. So there was nothing I was. Doing that. Dude, there, there was no motivation. There was nothing. Maybe there's no situation at the time. We all want something from God. We all want mm -hmm. God to speak a word into our life and mm -hmm. change the situation around. Mm -hmm. But I got that song whilst I was sleeping. So Yanu mm -hmm. Lore is a miraculous word. So mm -hmm. he said, "Sing sorrow coin." That miraculous word, Yanu Lore. That's that word. So Yanu and that's the word that came whilst I was sleeping. So yeah. So there was no situation around it. And for the other one, Mojubare, mm. there are two sides of Mojubare. Mm. The first side, I got it whilst I was sleeping. I just got the chorus. Moju. So it was, it was like an atmosphere where the angels and were just worshiping. worshiping so it was just was, So that song, it was. If you listen to, you listen to. If you listen to, you you, you feel. The Juba, the, the best time to listen to that song is when you wake up in the morning oh, wow. and you play that song. People have actually testified to it because that was when I got it. It was early in the morning and the angels were worshipping and the Juba was just, they were just, Juba and the worship, the worship was just there. So and that's why it came. But the other aspect came whilst I was helping my missus with school runs. That's when the <laughs> other sister, as I was just coming back and they were just bringing it uh, because I thought Mojubare was just that song complete. Okay. So I already, in my mind, I already completed it. Yeah, I've done the solo, I've come, I've done the solo to it and it was already a complete solo, okay. like a complete um, track, single. But once I was driving the kids back home from school, amongst the noise in the car and everything, they this was just coming alpha and omega no. so it was just coming i just yes. going in i just ran into the home i just put my phone on recording because sometimes okay. if i don't record like that i forget yes and sometimes even if i sleep and the song comes i quickly just wake up and just record on my phone so i won't if i go back to sleep i won't forget right. so this one i just ran into the house i just quickly played it out i just played it and that was it so the motivation I really can't say there was something like this going. It was just, it's just as spirit leads. Inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we're going to listen to Moju Barre in a minute, but I will quickly acknowledge a few people that just joined in. I can see my beautiful sister, Omo Bolani Uru Koton Shore, me. She said, 
Wale Lyrics is driven. A good getter, a vessel of God. May God enlarge your coast. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ma. And also, my beautiful sister, Yetunja Bosege and your followers said, Well done, sis. Thank you, Ma, for joining. God bless you, Ma. And also, Princess Olola De Dokas Okun, she said, More anointing, Wale Lyrics. Amen. Katie Kenny, mm, she said, Absolutely. A.M. Worship. Well done, my uplifting Wale Lyrics. Oh, wow. So you are blessing many, many souls Amen. and they are testifying to the glory of God. More blessing upon your life. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you have a question, if you want to appreciate him, call him or you type it in. And you know, trust me, you will really appreciate that also. Thank you. We're going to listen to his song now, Moju Barry. Please stay tuned. God bless you.
Glory, glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His marvelous, for His endurance, um, for His mercies and endurance forever. You are welcome back to Moment with Show and Wale lyrics on the platform tag A Seed in Me. Yes, we are here celebrating Jesus. In fact, it is so good in the presence of God Almighty. I have my wonderful brother Wale Lewis on platform. Probably you are just joining us. He's here sharing his experience on how he was able to identify the great seed of God in him. If you are just joining, please try to watch this all over again because his testimony, it was awesome. It was so great and I believe it will encourage life. Please share on your platform to encourage other people and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are moving forward, we just listened to his new um, singles album, Moju Bare, meaning I worship you, I adore you, I praise you, I bless you. We are returning all glory, adoration back to God Almighty, who is worthy of our praise because he's worthy of our of our thanks is worthy of everything everything god has created is good so also everything will return it back to him so the title moju bare is is a song to worship god is a song to adore him is a song to appreciate him or to show appreciation or gratitude unto our god almighty and i pray as you are truly um, enjoying his presence by worshiping him tonight. God Almighty, we accept all our thanks, all our praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Moving forward, can you please share with our viewers where can they listen to this song on the social media? What is your IG handle, your Facebook account, your YouTube account? Can you share, please? Yeah, um, you can find Mojibare on my YouTube page, um, Wally Lyrics, uh, Makado Productions um, is the page, but if you type while it looks more it will come out you can see it on my facebook um, page as well you can take it straight to the link um, it's also on my instagram which is wiley.lyrics um, we have put it on uh, it's now on all um, musical platforms with spotify iCloud, soundcloud and boom play and if you if you just type it on google just type while it's more it will take you to all the platform there is um, okay. and if you look under the youtube page it will also show you different platforms where you can download it for free it, okay. it's out there for it's, it's out there to bless souls and to just worship god let's worship god together in his holiness hallelujah hallelujah thank you for sharing that probably many might love to call you to their event as i understand that you sing at event to to um, celebrate people how can they reach you when they would love to call you? Yes, um, you can reach Wally Lyrics on where everywhere. We, you can you, inbox. My, uh, uh, you can inbox me on Facebook. You can inbox me on um, Instagram. You can you could, my my phone number is on my Instagram page. Where, so our, our numbers are everywhere. You can get us. Uh, we're happy to play and perform at your functions we've we've gone out for so many shows and there are some lined up to come so we 
God is doing great, Hallelujah. greatly in our, in our life. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. I can see my beautiful prophetess, Alice Bissi, a lot of us are women. She said, Thank you, Ma, for joining. God bless you. And my Katie Kenny said, Are we my year? The princess, Allah. Ololade Dokaso Kutu said, Moju Bare Olorun, thank you for the victory I received. Hallelujah. I bow down my head to worship you. Um, my beautiful sister Julie Sonye clapped to the Lord and beautiful sister Omobolale Urukutu said, Truly inspirational, beautiful word and sound. Moju Bare Awimayem. Hallelujah. My beautiful prophetess Alice BC Olasu Boston said, Great are you, Lord. Oh, yes, it's great, it's wonderful, it's mightier than the mightiest. And my wonderful sister Julie said, um, Well done. My beautiful sister Sarah Fuboy said, I love the Alpha and Omega part. Wow. Mm -mm. So you need to um to to put more accolade in that she says she love it thank you ma for loving that god bless you and my wonderful sister adiola forward said i bow my head to worship you oh lord fantastic live band wally lewis i was at the wedding he played at the Hilton. Oh wow. Thank you, man. God bless you for sharing that with us. We shall be well with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we've listened to his album. We want to listen and even watch his live performance for the benefit of people that have never met him performing. We want to watch that now. He's going to play his keyboard to appreciate God, to bless us at this minute. Please join us in worshiping God. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 All the glory belongs to God. And we can only sing a song Hallelujah. to just return all glory to Him. Mm. Let's sing this song. It says, Moda ope pada Moda ope pada Moda ope pada Sodo to lope. We just need to return all glory to him because everything we're saying today is by God's glory, is by his mercy. Hallelujah. It's not by man because, because man can give so give. Man can man can elevate. If man elevates, he it tells you you've done it and is looking for the same way to bring you down. Mm. God is the only one that can elevate and yeah. make you stay up there. So we can just return the glory to Him. We bow down and worship. Yahweh, we bow down and worship Yahweh.
Thank you so much. More blessing, more anointing to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everyone for joining. I believe you are all blessed with this short ministration. May the love of God, the peace of God continue to be with us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As we are moving forward because of our time, I would like you to share with our viewers who are those people that you see as your mentor that encourages you in the way of your journey, especially in the music career? Especially in the music career, yeah. well, my mentor generally, um, I've been looking up to God Almighty who has made all things well. I've been looking up to my father because my, my father has been has been a great mentor to me. My dad he just did 80, about 80. Oh, wow. And, and he's looking very young and act, agile and bless my mom to you have aware. My parents have just been so good because they trained me in the way of the Lord. Yeah. They brought me up in the way to know Christ. They, our house is just is, is a Christian house opportune and I give God the glory Hallelujah. for sending me to such place. So they've just been there for me all the way. Hallelujah. So in terms of my great mentors, my parents, they are, they are next to none. Yeah. And when I now look at uh, now going to the music side of things, there are so many um, gospel artists out there that are doing great works, um, touching life with their songs. I appreciate all of this. I can't say I'm looking up to so one person, or but I just appreciate the people out there doing great work. Lives of Tapia Labi, lives of um, Adi Kalashi Yori, lives of Tosin B, lives of um, even late Sonia Kosun. I just used to listen to his song. Even Ayefele, I just appreciate people that um, touch his life. If, if not, if, even if not like in worship ministration, but even it, if he's in secular, even if he's secular, but not okay. not in the world, gospel. just yeah. but if it's gospel okay. and doing doing things right, just touching lives yeah. and changing, making impact, oh, making wow. a wave. I just I appreciate all those people Hallelujah. and even more that I've never mentioned their name. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. As we are moving forward because of our time, I still have these books that um, my mentors, my guests, some of them bless us with this book to share with um, everyone. If you are willing to have any of it, just give me a call on 0207-0794-278530. Please just give me a call or you text me. I will send it to you wherever you are. I have this prayer book from um, Evangelist Tolu Lokwe Oye Wale titled The Spirit of Prayer. It is just a way to encourage us on how we pray. And also this one, Fundamental Prayer Before Marriage. As we all know that our journey, we need to place it before God before we enter into any courtship or relationship. This is written by Evangelist Minister Shegun Ajala. He is a drama minister. And also Talent Management by Evangelist Shegun Ajala. All these books are wonderful. Please let us receive this call. Hello, good evening. Moment with Shegun and Wally Lyrics. Good evening, madam. Good evening. God bless you. Amen. Uh, my name is Tayo. Actually, we so much enjoy you time and time every week, and you're doing a great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, sir. And I in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, my also thanks and uh, just to appreciate our brother Wale Lyrics. Welcome so much, sir. You're doing very well. Thank so you, much sir. enjoy you tonight. And God Almighty Father will continue to strengthen you in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. So, I have two questions, ma. Okay, sir. My first question is, how did my brother, how do you compose your songs? And uh, before you compose your songs, sir, how do you, how do you put the words together to, be, to become something enjoyable? Because sometimes, maybe, the words will actually come. So, when the words come, then how do you turn it into it? In marvelous songs, how do you turn into according to you know one lyric? So how do you actually you know turn into a song or a melody that becomes something enjoyable? That is my first question. My second question, as a choir master, because I actually noticed that you are a choir master from the messages that keep coming up from the love 
the people. So, in terms of managing people, sir, you know, sometimes we, we actually discover among people that you manage among the choirs that some, somebody may have a, a very, very lo lovely uh, voice. And at times, other people may intend to get jealous that why is it, you know, why is it that he loves other people than we do? So how do you manage people? How do you manage your choir? God bless you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much for your question. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, to your first question, sir, um, when the words came, like I said, um, sometimes, it, like I said, some of the songs when I sleep, I get them and they come in beats. It, that's where the knowledge of um, instrumentation comes in, and which is also a gift from, from God. Because um, not everybody that can, that can sing or that that's can right. compose can actually put things together. Sometimes you hear some you'll be wondering, but um, to God with the glory, is given me this talent as well, whereby I can put song into good melody. And if you if you notice, most of the things I, most of my songs, I, the melody are, are right because I, I have a strong passion for melody. So when when I get the song, there's some there's some words that will come whereby the 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 lyrics, it wouldn't go in a melody. For example, uh, if you want to say something like uh, or like, you know, is because of the Yoruba words, it would, it would have a kind of, I'll call it colorful, I'll call it like a bit, it's not straight, it's not straight. Mm -hmm. so that's where you need to be able to balance it. So that what I do when I have all the words, I put them on the paper, I put the lyrics, the chorus, I put the solo, then I match them to words, and because because I also have passion for lyrics, like I said, mm. so that's where the lyrics comes in. This word can go like this. If you look at the, uh, let me use my most recent song as an example. When the um, Alpha and Omega came into play, we say Alpha, Omega, Almighty Father, Lion of Judah. So he has a particular pattern. It was going in a flow. Then Royal Majesty, Holy Trinity. So it, everything it flows, like it flows like that in the words, then as well as in the in the lyrics. So these are the talent God has given me in order to put everything together to make it uh, melo melodious. So if, and as much as you're listening to the words, it also has sweet melody. So this is where the gift for singing comes in. So you just don't when the words just come and just put it down. It's just like visioners. Sometimes when the vision comes, yeah. you don't you don't give it out to the, the people way the same yes. way it comes. You need to fine tune it. Mm -hmm. It's just like a crude oil. When mm -hmm. when you have a crude oil, you refine you refine it, it before right. selling it out because mm -hmm. before cars can use it. Mm -hmm. So before you put it out there, you need to refine it. So it's another talent on its own which God has given to me to be able to to achieve that. Hallelujah. Then in answering the second question. A choir master <laughs> is is a big work. At the same time, if God is with you, is not is not a good because if God looks at me, this small boy, <laughs> and he gave me the position so great, so it can only be God. And if you look at in my choir, I can say I'm the youngest, or maybe I'm, I'm the second to youngest, and you you to be the choir master over great um, men and women of God. It can only be done by wisdom. Mm -hmm. It can only be done by wisdom. Like my father said on the call, you know some people that you know can deliver, you know some people that can sing. So you would want to, something in you will always want to use them. But, but you also need to know that you need to encourage everybody because, because God that gave you all of them, he just didn't tell you to take only the best. Mm -hmm. He says they to use everybody. To they are there for you to, to you need also need to, to teach them, to nurture them, them and grow them so they can also be as equally as good. Mm -hmm. So in the process, 
I've had so many, some of my choir members say, ah, wrong way, you, you, you that don't pose, you know. So we, we, we've had times like that. When I say, use that don't, when you say, what do you mean I use that don't? Whereby you don't come to church, you don't come to choir practice. And this person is coming to choir practice, coming to church. I would rather use them. They say, no, because, you know, so we we'll always have that time. But, but nothing serious. Let me, let me not. It's not serious, you know, it's just, um, I'm Joe Dedi. So, because if they see that your intention, because intention it's also matters. You see that your intention, mm. intention mm. is not to put them down. Your intention is for the work of God to do both. They are noticing. If you're being biased, they know. Mm. If you're being self-centered, if you're using one person, and they know. So you just need to make sure you use everybody. And when you're talking, you rest. The fact that you're the choir master, it doesn't mean you are to you are to serve. So I've been called to serve these people. So and if you're serving, you can't lord you can't boss over those you're serving. So you need to come oh, with wow. humility, even if they are singing the song not on the right key. I'm not the choir master. Some people say, oh, you're just, I'm not the choir master that I will shout and I would never do that. I would find a way, even if I see somebody shouting at my choir member for not doing something, I would rather tackle that person than tackle that my member. Because you you shouting you've lost the you killed their confidence That's so that means you've taken my work even further so i'll tell you know we always have some mothers in the choir who i will tell you in 1962 when we were singing this you cannot be singing like that and that you know we, these are contemporary singers and 20th century choirs and we're in uk people leave their work on sundays to come to church and we need to encourage them so even if they don't sing well for the fact that they've come out in cold winter to come to church, church on a Sunday. Do you know what it means to wake up on a Sunday morning whilst it's cold mm -hmm. and come out there that you get to church and you come to church even if you're not singing on a note? No, and somebody will tell you, no. So I would rather tell the person, just don't worry, I'll do it. Then I can call the person on a call after so service or something and tell them, do, do, do. and I say, sometimes we, my choir will do it a lot. I'll record the song and send to you okay. and so so you can you can, yeah, you can learn it yeah. but not, not to him, so, not, so and if the your choir members are seeing that you're treating them with respect okay. and you're not looking over them they they wouldn't give you stress that's right they would they would when you talk to them you listen authority or let me say respect is not is heard yeah. you don't you don't demand it That's you right. you earn it and yeah. what you give is what you get back Hallelujah. i hope i've been able to answer I think so. my father's wow. <laughs> thank, thank you for that beautiful answer oh wow it takes the wisdom of god to deal with human and i love what you said may god continue to endow you great wisdom more anointing to you mr dajo i believe uh, he has answered your question and thank you so much for um um that question you have asked god bless you i still have two or three more books to share with you a life is a lesson yes written by um evangelist esther adeyinka she came to this platform and she blessed us with this book if you are willing to have one please call me and also and they shall be called the son of god written by evangelist Tolu Lokwe Oyewole. please call to ask for one who are those we call the son of god we should answer that question ourselves and also i have this understanding the principle of church growth written by professor dr this is awesome trust me how we nurture or grow church how we manage people how can our church grow how can we move further in life it's, it's very awesome if you are willing to have one just call me and you can as well google it or you you go on amazon you can get it from there it's, it's all on the all, uh, all social media or platform to get please try to get one it will surely bless your life now we are moving forward to our interaction section because of our time please if you are willing to contribute type in your question or you call in before we read the answers out i will give you a few minutes to answer people that on platform i will give you some minutes to answer the question you can type it in or you can as well dial it into the studio number and answer the question so you have just six seconds to answer this question I have about three to four questions. Okay, the first question is, what is the benefit of forgiveness? 
Let me talk about Genesis is crazy. You set yourself free and set yourself like a body. Because if you don't forgive, you you carry the body and the mental to the person. You you just look up uh, and and you you just have it there. The benefit of forgiveness because it's it's in the Lord's prayer. Forgive us as since as we forgive those who just against us. So if you don't forgive, you are not getting you you won't be forgiven as well. So so the benefit is forgive that you might be forgiven as well as that you might have a free conscience and, and be right before God. Okay, second question. Um, where did men of Judea gather to anointed King David? No, I don't I can't remember where. Okay, the third question. What substance was used for anointing in Israel? What substance was used for anointing in Israel? Oil. Oil. Okay. Um, in the Bible, there was a particular chapter that the Lord Jesus said, Arise, O little child. What was the Hebrew word that says the same word? Talita Oh, wow. Okay. The fourth question was, What what was the first miracle the Lord performed in the Bible? God knows what times of wine. And my fifth question, why are you laughing? She said three and you can't question your teacher. Sorry, <laughs> you cannot question your teacher. Sorry, okay. So it's a spirit direct. Sorry, okay. The okay. fifth question. Uh, are you, you are just getting it, getting it like that. So I need to give you more. Who anointed Jesus' feet with perfume? Mary Magdalene. Oh God. Uh -uh. Okay, I'm coming. Another question. Question number six. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. To give every man according to their work. What be, Bible reference is that? Be good or be evil. Where can we find that in the Bible? Number six, your time is going on. I think you can find it in um, Matthew. You said Matthew, yeah? Chapter verse. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I think Matthew is six or something. Okay, question number seven. Why did Jonah was sent to Nineveh? To, to tell them to change their ways. Okay, and you are truly a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> And your time stop now. Thank you. Clap for yourself first. <laughs> oh, you really rehearsed. You prepared for me that this time around you will not fall on my hand. I, mean, well I didn't get one question. So. Okay. Oh, uh, what was that? Let me see. Um, okay. You didn't get. Um, and behold, and I come quickly, and my reward is with me. You said Matthew. It wasn't Matthew, it was uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Oh. And the Lord said to them, My reward is with me to give everybody according to their yeah. deed, either yeah. good, good or bad. Or bad. Yeah. So you didn't get that one, but the rest you got it. No, I didn't get the one. You, the first one was, Where was David was anointed? Where did, God where did men of Judea gather to anoint David? It is um, Hebron. They gather at Abram to anointed King David. Yeah. Yes, that was the one that they, you, did, you missed two out of seven. Wow. Even though I didn't plan to ask them, but because uh, uh, you can't uh, answer her. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. More knowledge, more willing to you in Jesus' name. As we are rounding up because of our time, I wonder if you like to appreciate people that supported you in the journey of your music or in the journey of your life. And we appreciate, please. I appreciate um, God Almighty who has made all things well. I appreciate my parents again. Baba and Yafo, where I love you. I can't love you more. I can't love you less. I can I can only love you more, not less. I appreciate my wife and my lovely children, Adiola and my kids. I appreciate you. I appreciate my friends who have been standing by me all the way i appreciate uh, my choir i can i can't but mention my everywhere i go i just keep saying my choir my choir my choir they're just they're just so 
just too good. No yes. oh, God, wow. I just appreciate all of you. God oh, bless you all. Oh. God bless you all. I appreciate uh, my team and Wiley Lyrics Band. You've been good. I appreciate all our supporters. We have new supporters coming in day and night. We always say Wiley Lyrics. I want to do my best with Wiley I want. And people who are always Auntie Kenny, Auntie Titi, um, Edith, everybody. I can I can. I can't just um, thank you enough. Um, and to Kenny K's event, she, she's doing well. And with oh, yeah. they're doing well recently. I appreciate both of you. God bless you. Amen. And great, greater height to go in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate everyone, the, the love, even those that don't even know me personally, but just listen to the song and just share. I just appreciate. I appreciate you. God sees you. God knows you. God bless you. Amen. I pray that whatever you lay your hands on shall prosper. Amen. As you are supporting this vision, this project of Valley Lyrics, God would announce you. God Amen. will lift you up. Amen. He will surprise you. He will meet Amen. everybody with need. Amen. And all the people on the platform listening right now, Amen. and even though that will listen, still wishing Wale Lyrics well, I pray that God would meet you at the point of need. Amen. When Wale Lyrics is growing, we will all grow. When Wale Lyrics is at the top, we will all meet at the top. Amen. God bless you. I love you all. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. God bless you. Now, I want you to advise our viewers because many have that uh, great thing in them, which is their talent which is their potential, their talent, their gift that they need to use. We cannot have it to die with our talents. It is paramount for us to use because we will be questioned when we die. What do you do with your talent? So I want you to advise people watching us that have that greatness in God. How can they identify it? How can they nurture or grow their seed? What can they do to keep them moving forward? Can they please encourage someone? Um, I'm encouraging someone out there that things is this my seed is this my talent because there's something god has deposited a seed in all of us we are deposited a talent if you find your hand in your door about banishing if there's if you find your hand doing something do it do it diligently if in the work of it was a work of god in church if it's a type hobby that you like to sing you like to play instrument don't ever look down on yourself don't think i can't do it always go for it Put yourself, put your mind to it, pray about it, and just keep going. you find challenges, you find obstacles along the way. But like I said earlier, it's a face that will pass on. But if you don't face one face, the face will not face a way for you to face another face. Mm. So you need to face your fears. You need to just go for it. Don't always, don't look down on yourself. Don't think you can't do it. Don't limit yourself. You can do it. And the more you do it, that means you're investing just like God gave us talent. He gave them five, he gave yeah. the one that one went to put it in the soil and nothing came out of That's it. Right. Whatever talent you have, you need to keep using it. You need to keep asking God, you need to keep praying. Just put your hand there, just keep trying. And it will grow, you will germinate before you know it. You're a master in something mm -hmm. and, and you, you're affecting life positively mm -hmm. with that seed in you. Please don't stop and God will help you. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Do not stop using your talent. Your talent is your glory, is your potential. The Bible says, arise and shine for the glory of God is upon you. So your talent is your glory, is your blessing. It's something you need to enjoy doing. It's something you need to use to bless other people. It's something that will pave way for you, even in the presence of kings and the prince. And it shall be well with you. Do not relent in searching for your talent. And it shall be well with you all in Jesus' name. As we are moving forward because of our time, um, Sweet Heart Fruits gave you, give you this little gift for coming to this show. Kindly appreciate Sweet Heart Fruits. Thank you. I bless Sweet Heart Fruits and I appreciate you for this fruit. As you have given me fruit, lots of fruit, God will give it to you. Amen. Your company will grow from glory to glory Amen. and will work strong from strength to strength. Amen. Your coast will be enlarged. Amen. By the time you know it, you will be serving fruit at greater places. Amen. Great, you will serve men of honor. Amen. And even sweetheart fruit will employ will be employers of labor Amen. that your name will be known around Amen. the world. Amen. God bless you for this. I appreciate Amen. you. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. God bless you too. 
um i would like to appreciate everyone that joined us thank you so much for joining thank you for your comment thank you for sharing thank you for calling in thank you for sharing for us it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus also i would like to say a well done good job to my wonderful husband olawale akishon for being the um pillar of this program for us at all times that we come up thank you so much more wisdom more knowledge unto you in the mighty name of jesus till next week that we meet again i remain loyal to you show on the platform tag is seen in me see you next week by god bless stay tuned and god bless you bye for now